my name is Apelele and I'm from Kukuletu, which is in Cape Town in South Africa. I had to learn to be independent in a very young age because I didn't have emotional love during that time. I didn't have uh, any father figure. I'm staying with my mother and the stepfather. Maybe I can, sometimes I will come out of the house like at night and maybe there's a moonlight there. I can keep on studying just because I knew that how important each test, was, each test was and I always wanted to be the best in whatever I do. Even in the township as an environment as it is, yeah, you have to find your own way to survive. You, you are alone. There is teenage pregnancy, there is crime, there is uh, poverty. After I graduated um, in primary, I went to high school, which, uh, which is also based here in Cape Town, in Kukulito. Um, that's where uh, I became a member of Education Without Borders. Uh, at first, I didn't have a chance to get there to the program. Then, uh, I saw um, weeks later, um, uh, the space was open for everyone. That's where I jumped into EWP, and then that's where I think my life uh, really changed. Since I joined EWP four years ago, I have never had school holiday. I leapt up every bit of information and opportunity they gave us and my grades improved. I was the best learner top of my class from grade 10 to 12. In grade 12, I started to sleep at school. It was the only place where I could study. My name is Nicole and I'm 18 years old and I live in Lansdowne. I'm currently doing my grade 12 in Fonseca High School and it has been an exhausting three months so far. Um, because we having we have early mornings and late nights because we have um, morning sessions and also afternoon sessions that includes our our normal school time so it's seven hours plus the extra three hours exhausting. <laughs> uh, so I was introduced to education without borders when I first came to Fezeka High School in grade eight. Um, I was in a math class and Sean used to be one of the coordinators in EWP at that time. He came into our class and introduced uh, us to Education Without Borders. He told us that it was a tutorial program, after school program, that helped children with maths and English at that time. And he told us how it, he was also a product of EWB. And at that time he was studying engineering in university. So he basically sold it to us because I was like, so if this person is studying engineering and he's a product of this program, then I need to be a part of it. So what they do is that they usually take children who are a product of their program and then so that we are able to plow back what they had given to us. So um, I'm a tutor and also a student because the, I, I attend the math and physics classes. So and then I tutor in the primary school because we also have a primary school in Seki so that's where I tutor. So, because we understand the situation at home, at home it, it is rough, so I saw that it's like, okay, um, I'm going to get that meal there. So, yeah, at least at the end of the day, I'll get something out of it. But I, without knowing that, it was more than about just food. It was all about academics. It's all about building you as a person. Education Without Borders has contributed to the Gugulechu community very, like in a very big way because they develop us from primary school because you know that um, when students enter high school they face a lot of challenges. I have to tell you because like I have been able to withstand some of those challenges so not only academically but then they give, they develop um, our life skills and yeah, they groom us to be better people in society.